All right, well, the president is very confident uh, this will go through. This will be a winner for the American people. Could be a winner for the White House. Uh, will that be the case? Ken Blackwell, a former Trump transition team member. Uh, Mayor, good to see you. What do you make of this? I, I think it's great news. I think it's great news for growth. I think it's great news for getting that capital that's offshore flowing back in here, creating jobs. Jim Rhodes, former governor of Ohio, used to say it's all about jobs, jobs, jobs. Uh, and working people want jobs and, and, and income lift. I think uh, the, the, the Senate and the Congress in general uh, have a binary choice. They have to choose to embrace the status quo with anemic growth uh, and, and, and slow job creation, or in fact, uh, they can choose a change, uh, whether it's big change or moderate change, but they need to be on the side of, of, of change and growth and jobs and income lift. You know, you're talking about it's all about jobs. You're right about that. But there are some people who fear that the tax cuts the companies are going to get, they'll just plow back, at least initially, into their stock, increasing their dividends. I mention this a lot because uh, that is what happened last time. They got something akin to this. Uh, they're free to do that, and that has its own positive effects for the economy. But it doesn't create jobs right away. Are you worried, then, that the, 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 the jobs gains uh, part of this comes later? Well, when you, when you look at the number of Americans who, in fact, uh, have their futures tied to uh, lift in the, in the stock market and stock prices and, and, and what have you and dividend returns, uh, that would not be my preferred choice, but that, too, has a, a positive impact on all of those folks who are at retirement age or who have already retired. But I think the, the comprehensive package or will, will, in fact, encourage folks to invest that money in jobs and workers uh, and, and put us on the path of making sure that we are, in fact, not only the world's only uh, military superpower, but that we are the, we are the 500 pound uh, force in the, uh, in, in, in the room when it comes to economic uh, drivers. Do you ever, I know you're not, you know, a market wonk and all that, uh, you're too cool for that, but, uh, you know, a lot of people who have, who have been talking to Ken have been saying this has all the feelings of a market melt up, that they're, they're very enjoyable when they happen, because they should certainly be in a market meltdown, but that there's a frenzy to it. It could be a very justifiable frenzy, but that it, 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 it you obviously can't see gains like this all the time, and Americans are are not prepared for what happens when it all slows down. Uh, do you worry about that? Um, not, not too much. I, I think we, we have a president that understands the nature of, of, of capital. Uh, the, the, the Trump bump is, 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 is real. Uh, and, and Neil, me personally, uh, I, I asked, uh, I, I talked to uh, my family, and my wife always says to me, what does Neil think? <laughs> uh, so uh, I, 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 I sort of, I sort of, I sort of, and, and she's there watching you today. So say, say hi, Rosa. But she, uh, and, she and also the, the thinks reality. your head is larger than mine, and there's no way you, you're not even in the, you're not even in my zip code. Uh, so she's obviously your better half there. But on this, she's not distinct. But I, I do want to ask you the reason why I mentioned that, as you know, Ken, the president has spent a good deal of time, as he should. If it's going your way, you might as well mention it how well the markets have done mm -hmm. and the pickup in economic activity, 3.3% latest quarter. But the flip side of that is markets don't always go up. Ronald Reagan famously said that. Right. And Ronald Reagan rarely mentioned the markets, even though when his presidency w was done, they were a lot higher than when he came in. Is there a danger to that? I know you're friends with the president as well. Do you ever advise him, go slow on this, Mr. President? <laughs> Look, I, I, I don't want to think that I'm that, that close or that big of an advisor to the president. But I will tell you, having worked with Jack Kemp, having worked with Ronald Reagan, uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, markets go up, markets come down. Uh, one of the things that we have to do when markets go up and revenue goes up, that is the time that you start to deal with discipline spending restraint, because it, in fact, makes... The, the, they don't the, do that, though, the, Ken. The they don't do that. Both parties have well, well, consistently well, that, failed that, at that. that. That's what they bet. That, that's where they bet. That's where they better uh, come to grips. That it's not all about always going up. Markets come down, and I've, if you don't I've have seen that none spending of that, restraint, I see none of that spending restraint in either party. That that does worry me longer term.
Yeah, yeah, I, 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 and me, and, and me too. So you know, I'm going to be on the sidelines, or if I'm in the game, I'm going to be basically saying, "Look, we have to, we have to address the spending uh, restraint uh, yeah. and, and, and spending cuts because if 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 we don't, uh, the 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 ride down and the market will eventually turn down will in fact be a very very scary ride." All right, Ken, very good seeing you again. By the way, a viewer just let me know, I don't know what Blackwell's thinking. Your head is significantly larger than his. All right, so <laughs> try as you might. Uh, you're going to have to go for the silver on that one. Um, Ken, always good seeing you. My best here. Always good to be with you, brother. Fine wife.